Hello. Howdy. We're back with another Ask the Elders. Oh, we just love these. Yeah, so what are we going to ask the elder today? Today it is about alcohol and dancing or entertainment Ooh. or something like that. Okay, well, let's just play the clip and we'll ask the elder. When you read the Bible, you see that uh, Jesus made wine and drank it. Uh, he was at a wedding feast. There was dancing. There was music. So entertainment wasn't foreign to jo Jesus or his uh, disciples, nor is it to Jehovah's Witnesses. We lead normal life. Uh, there's no prohibition about moderate uh, consumption of alcoholic beverages, of uh, having gatherings and enjoying entertainment. Oh, forget asking this knucklehead elder. Let's ask Watchtower. Let's just ask Watchtower. Because we do know that when you go to the CD-ROM and type in entertainment, you get a plethora of information. Or dancing. Or yeah, dancing, dancing and, you know. So what we're going to do is we're going to take um, a little bit from an article. It's from the 1979 Golden Age. 322 what? What? Golden Age. Oh, 1979. Oh, wait, excuse me. There's a G right here, so I just... Well, you know, when when you're talking about <laughs> disco, you're really talking about the Golden Age, aren't you? <laughs> 1979, awake. You would have to do this, wouldn't you, dear? <laughs> I lost my train of thought. I'm oh, sorry, I didn't mean to get you all flustered. <laughs> okay, all right. How should, how Christians should view disco? <laughs> Not the golden age. The golden age, that's right. Shake, shake, shake. So what we're going to do is, but before we get to the thrust of this article, thrust, no, nothing implied there, you know, gyrating, bumping of the hips, shake your booty. Gist of the article? That's right, the gist of the article. Be, before we gyrate with this article, um, I recall somewhere along the way, Watchtower says that they do not critique movies, they do not critique books. They, they do, do not name books or movies or by their title games. or video games. So, The Await, 1979, March 22nd, page 12 to 13, How Christians Should View Disco. Is it wise for Christians to go to discos? Is it wise for them to see such movies as Saturday Night Fever? Sounds like they named a movie right they there. They named a movie right there, just like they did during that district convention many 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 years ago and he said not one Christian has a right to go and see Saturday Night Fever. Hey, entertainment. Remember what the elder said, entertainment. In many household questions such as these have been topics for conversations and have given rise to some concern and of course blah 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 blah. So in the magazine, Disco World, they published the girl's letter in its May 1977 issue along with this reply. And it actually comes from a 15-year-old girl from Chicago. She wrote to the magazine and she said, I used to attend discotheques until two weeks ago when one of my teachers from school caught me and told my father, I am planning to start going again after things cool off because to me the most enjoyable form of entertainment is dancing to the sounds of disco. So this is what Disco World replied. Dear Lydia, a girl of your age attending a disco is really not a good idea. There are harsh realities in the world today and if continued by one of them it may cause a dilemma for you and your family. I am sure you have a record player at home and enough records to dance to your heart's desire. If you need a crowd, invite the rest of your friends over. Okay, so now... And so why does Watchtower print this from this mag... What are they doing reading Disco World magazine? That's what i got to ask. <laughs> how did... Let alone quoting yeah, it. How did Watchtower even know that Lydia wrote Disco World? Makes Obvious. one wonder. Obviously, they're. Yeah. Hey, I bet they subscribe to that magazine. Yes. But then, a little bit 
down, we have a qualification. Another witness, oh, another witness who regretfully had to be expelled from the Christian congregation because he became swallowed up in the disco experience and committed all forms of fornication, later acknowledged. Now notice, they don't dare name this brother, but boy, they'll sure name a sister's name, won't they? Yeah. Okay, so the brother goes on and says, it's a jungle. Even if you go there with your wife and want to enjoy a little dancing, she is undressed and raped in the minds of men there even before you get her out on the dance floor. Wait a minute. If he was the one that was disfellowshipped for committing all forms of fornication, maybe he was the one that was Undressing looking at other women, women. <laughs> and yeah. mentally raping them. And obviously not only doing it in his mind, but obviously yeah. he did something to get this fellowship for. Exactly. But, it, but, but hey, 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 it all goes in hand in hand. This is what happens when you go to a discotheque. Yeah. Okay? Nowadays they're called clubs. That's right. They're called clubbing. Let's go clubbing. Oh my, how things have changed. Um, 2006 Watchtower. March 1st, pages 20 to 21. Wholesome recreation that refreshes. Paragraph 14 under the heading, Some Reminders and Cautions. Having large social events is not advisable such, uh, since supervision, supervision at such is often difficult. Wait a minute. Having large social events is not advisable. But wasn't it advisable this summer for them to have large social events in their kingdom halls? Didn't they have, like, these huge parking lots at assembly halls where they had a big party there? Yeah, they, they, they gathered bands. Um, they even, in one clip, we saw a large social gathering that, where they were dancing to the Texas Two-Step. Having large social... Oh, 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 wait a minute. In the words of the famous J.W. fairy tale... But that's different. <laughs> Come on, Jehovah's Witnesses. Forget the elder. Ask the watchtower. Okay? Now it goes on to say... Obviously that elder was never at any of these parties. Apparently not. <laughs> Paragraph 16. If, if alcohol is served at social gatherings, this should be done with great discretion. I didn't see any alcohol at those large social events that Watchtower sponsored this past summer. Of course, they never showed the food and drink tent of what was going on in yeah, there. Yeah, so, but. hey, it leaves one to wonder. But if alcohol is served, okay, it goes on, many Christian hosts decide to serve alcoholic drinks only if they can personally oversee what their guests are served or consumed. Well, I know this for a fact because when you're at a gathering that's hosted by my mother, she knows specifically who gets what because she's the one that mixes them. <laughs> she's the bartender. She's the bartender, that's right. Serving everyone. You know, and I do mean everyone. Everyone, yeah. Nothing should be permitted that might stumble others or tempt anyone to overindulge. Well, a couple of things here. My brother and I, from time to time, will... Um, mock my mother because when it comes to my mom's life she doesn't have time for anything she doesn't have time to spend with her grandchildren oh I don't have time for this you ask her to go and do something on a recreational type thing oh I don't have time for this so my brother and I one time mocked her in front of her literally and we said mom when you die you know what's going on in your gravestone I don't have time for this. <laughs> so she sarcastically come back and says, no, no, no. When I die, on my headstone, I want you to put party girl. So maybe we could do party girl who doesn't have time for this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it really makes you wonder what's truly in the mindset of Jehovah's Witnesses, especially in my mom's case when it comes to serving alcohol because she doesn't want to be known as a faithful witness of Jehovah. She wants to be known as party girl. Well, when everybody was getting their to-go bags ready, we were making fun of her because she actually told 
a whole group of us that she needed two to-go bags, one for her martini and bar, and the other for her necessities. Yeah. And this was the joke of the congregation. Exactly. And how many times have Kim and I bet, been at a gathering, even at weddings, where we have personally seen alcoholic beverages brothers and sisters overindulge. Oh, Wisconsin is notorious for that. They yeah. have like $50,000 weddings with an open bar. So, no, Jehovah's Witnesses do not discourage entertainment. They do not discourage drinking in moderation openly. But what happens behind closed doors? Yes. Well, I like this paragraph here, 17. It says, the host should make sure that any music, dancing, or other entertainment is consistent with Christian principles. And then the last sentence of the paragraph says, a dance that involves immodest behavior, emphasizing erotic movements of the hips and breasts, would obviously not be proper for a Christian. That's any dance you do. Well, that's the thing. All of the, any, any dance move. Any dance step doesn't originate with the Watchtown Babel Crap Society. It originates from the world. And you know what? This brings up an interesting uh, point of conversation. Kim and I can attest that on more than one occasion, we actually walked out of a wedding reception because the music was either improper, way too loud, or the dancing got to be extremely Questionable? Questionable, copying the world. Uh, I even remember one wedding reception that we went to where the song by Rod Stewart, Tonight's the Night, was being played. And we just had to leave because it bothered our Christian trained conscience. Because you read articles like this. Well, I happen to like that just, song now. Well, but. yeah, but you know, you just have to walk away from it. Well, one, we walked out because they were playing rap. Yeah, in one way they loud. were playing rap music. So when this knucklehead elder gets up there and says a little short clip, oh, we don't discourage or we, you know, all in moderation, the guy doesn't qualify what he says. Yeah, he doesn't he even have doesn't. watch our literature in front of him. Yeah, so I guess that's all we have to say about that. Um... But we'll leave you with this thought. Yes, we will. No, 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 no. We can't do this because too many of our apostate friends are getting copyright strikes for associating the happy song with Jehovah's Witnesses. Can't have witnesses dancing to the happy can't dance. Can't do that, so we're going to take liberty and we're going to change things up just a little bit.
is wrong with you? We are two sick puppies.